Hey everybody, Scott Spranza here, DocSports.com. It is Thursday, May 16th, 2019. We got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Plus, a return to our NFL thumbnail sketches as we kick off the AFC South. All that in just a bit. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. And again, all you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. All right, here's what happened last night. Here's what's going on today before we get to the NFL and our free pick in Thursday's baseball. Last night in the NBA, unfortunately, I lost. I had the Toronto Raptors uh, about two or three minutes to go in the game. They're up 100 to 98, getting six and a half. They never scored another point. They lose by eight. It goes that way sometimes. Unfortunately, a very uh, disappointing defeat because you feel like you got a great shot to cover that. They led for 37 of the 48 game minutes in the contest last night. Still on a 38 and 20, 66% winning run the last couple of months in the NBA. We're still up about $5,500 for those wagering $100 per unit. I'm in the NBA on Thursday, Western Conference Finals Game 2. We won the first game in the Western Conference. Blazers and Warriors Game 2 tonight. Go grab it over at DocSports.com. I'll look to extend our run to 39 and 20. I'm also involved in baseball. Big baseball play today, guys. We went 2-0 yesterday on the bases. I've already had three seven-unit plays so far this season. In baseball, we're off to a winning start. My fourth seven-unit play of the baseball season goes on Thursday. It'll be available Thursday morning, DocSports.com. It is an over-under play. Don't miss out these seven-unit plays. Again, it's just our fourth of the season thus far, and we're off to a winning start. Don't miss out. Thursday, baseball, seven-unit total over at DocSports.com. You can grab that play on Thursday morning. And again, coming off a nice 2-0 sweep yesterday, uh, including that nice win uh, with the Milwaukee Brewers short underdog winner at night. We had the Arizona Diamondbacks in the daytime. Both got the win for us rather easily. NHL last night, we won with the Sharks. I'm going to tell you what right now, another call goes the way of the San Jose Sharks. Listen, we had the Sharks. I'll take the win. But how they missed it, if you didn't see it, you'd probably YouTube it and find it or Google it. But the bottom line is, is a hand pass on the first assist on the game-winning overtime goal by San Jose goes uncalled. I saw a great tweet last night from somebody on Twitter who said six more calls and the San Jose Sharks have their first Stanley Cup win. I mean, it's been crazy what they did against Vegas and got away with down 3 nothing halfway through the third period of a Game 7. And then, of course, last night with the St. Louis Blues. Listen, maybe they go on and win the game anyway in overtime. We don't know what would have happened if the right call would have been made. We'll gladly take the win, but boy, it sure does feel kind of, kind of funky uh, when you get a win where a hand pass was not called in the game. Again, I'll happily take the victory with the San Jose Sharks. That, by the way, uh, made us now 6-0 and uh, in the NHL with our last six plays. End up over $2,500 for $100 per unit players. Uh, we're going to pass tonight's game between Carolina and Boston. Listen, I'll tell you right now, I think Boston is probably the play here, but it's not enough for me to jump in and make it a play, but I lean towards the Bruins. <clears throat> All right, let's get to our... Um, uh, what's going on, uh, excuse me, to our thumbnail sketches in the NFL. Uh, we've passed the last couple of days talking about our thumbnail sketches, but we're back into it now uh, in the AFC South, and we're going to kick things off with the Houston Texans. Under Bill O'Brien, listen, I know he's taken a lot of heat as the head coach of the Houston Texans, but they're generally a nine-win team. Last year, they won 11. As far as this team is concerned this year, you better shore up that offensive line. Last year, Deshaun Watson was under constant pressure. This offensive line for Houston gave up more sacks than any other team in the NFL in 2018. Uh, they went out and they got the kid Titus Howard out of Alabama State. Uh, by all indications, had a real nice combine, and they have got him as their first pick in the draft. He is an offensive tackle. I think he can probably uh, come out and make a little bit of noise in his first season uh, with the uh, Houston Texans. But they went out and got two offensive tackles. And I don't know that the second player they got is going to stick in Houston. So they're going to have to shore things up on the offensive line. They're going to be back to the same thing they were doing last year. They're going to find ways to win games against lesser competition, but they're not going to get to where they want to be, which is, of course, an AFC title. And if you're not going to shore up your offensive line, you might as well forget about it because Watson's going to be running all over the place, having to 
scramble and having to try to buy time with his receivers to complete passes. They can't afford to keep doing that. Uh, you're going to keep having an injured quarterback who's always on the run. As far as the defense is concerned, it's been a little better than adequate for the most part over the last couple of years. Their corners were a little shaky last year. They got a couple of the corners in the draft, but nobody impressive. When I looked at what Houston did in the draft, everybody, I look at a C+. Plus. At the very most, a B minus, but more like a C plus from Houston with their 2019 draft. I really don't think outside of Titus Howard, there's anybody, whether it's a corner, whether it's a running back, whether it's an offensive lineman, who's going to make much of an impact in 2019 for these Houston Texans. You look at the schedule, their first nine games before their bye, I've got them going five and four, not horrible. Seven games after the bye, they've got their three toughest opponents coming to Houston, and they've got some winnable games on the road in those final seven, and I think they're gonna be okay. I think they're gonna win nine games. again. With with maybe a little luck, 10 wins. So for me, as far as Houston is concerned, with their wins total being eight and a half for all the reasons I just mentioned, I think they sneak over eight and a half, nine, certainly not enough of a difference from my ratings and where the wins total is to make it a play. We've already told you a few times when we've had plays, like our last video, uh, under the wins total with the Baltimore Ravens. But in this particular situation, I'm gonna say a lean on the Houston Texans over eight and a half wins. Our next thumbnail sketch on our next video is gonna be on the Indianapolis Colts. I think you'll be interested in hearing what I'm thinking about with these Indianapolis Colts for the upcoming 2019 campaign. All right, again, here's what's going on for Thursday, and uh, then we'll get to the free pick for today. Uh, I do have the seven-unit total in Major League Baseball on Thursday night. It'll be available Thursday morning, DocSports.com. I've got the NBA Western Conference Finals Game 2, the side in Game 2 between the Blazers and Warriors, also available Thursday morning, DocSports.com. <clears throat> Now, excuse me for the dry throw, guys, but um, listen, I'm not involved in the PGA Championship. Uh, I have talked to the powers that be at DocSports.com. We're going to bring my matchups to DocSports.com in golf, starting either the next uh, tournament or the one after. So in the next two weeks, we'll start releasing our matchups, which is basically what I play. I don't do a lot of, you know, who's going to win that weekend's tournament, but I do a lot of matchups. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get closer to kicking things off for us in the PGA over at DocSports.com. But good luck with uh, Beth Page Black and the PGA Championship. Uh, as I'm sure, you know, some of you will be watching this after it's already teed off on Thursday. Good luck if you're involved. Let's get to our free pick for today, Thursday's Major League Baseball. We're going to back the Chicago Cubs on the road over the Cincinnati Reds. This will be Quintana over Castillo. I like the lefty Quintana if you look at his last six starts. About a 229 ERA, 099 whip. He's been shaky at times, but when you look over a six start, stretch and you've got numbers like that I think he's going to keep it going here against the Cincinnati Reds team as far as the Reds are concerned they're going to go with Castillo just a glance at his numbers and you're thinking holy cow he deserves to be a favorite over the Cubs his ERA is tremendous it's under two all that kind of stuff but dig a little deeper you'll see Castillo has had control issues 10 walks in his last 19 and two-thirds innings pitched and that comes out to about 4.6 walks per nine innings pitched for Castillo. He's going up against a lineup in the Chicago Cubs and an offense that is as good as anyone when it comes to exploiting pitchers' weaknesses. And when you look across the board on this handicap, every single key part that I use for handicapping, except bullpen, comes out in the advantage of the Chicago Cubs. The bullpens are basically even. So I'm gonna back the Chicago Cubs here. I think they get the job done. They're a short underdog as I cut this video. The Cubs, our free pick for Thursday. All right, everybody, uh, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here on Friday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column.